What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is my new home office. This room is not that big, it's 11 by 12, but that's all I need for a home office. And if you guys are interested in any of these items, go ahead and check out the links in the video description below. Those links support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. So let's go ahead and check out some of this awesome tech. So once again, not a really big room, but I made it work. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna start off with my workbench. This workbench is awesome. I love it. It's on wheels. I can move it around and I got it for under $150 through Amazon warehouse deals. Slightly used, but it doesn't bother me. The scratches on it are on the side, which are against the wall. No one sees it, which I really like about this workbench. It, it has a very deep drawer. Look at all the stuff I have. It's just, <laughs> this is my junk drawer. You can tell, right? but look how deep it is it's you can actually have an extra inch so you got pile it in there really good and still close the door love it and right here i have my usb fan highly suggest getting a rechargeable usb fan especially if you're at your desk and you're sweating bullets it has three speeds and it definitely cools me down i use it actually for ventilation when I'm soldering. Over here is my digital microscope. Love this thing. It zooms in up to 50 to 1000 times. It has eight LEDs to illuminate your work area. Actually records in high definition. So let me show you that. Hit OK button and I'll start recording to a micro SD card built into the unit. Hit OK to stop. And to play back, hit mode. It actually takes snapshots to an HD, as you can see. Hit mode again. And to play, I think, is okay. Yeah, there you go. And that plays the video. And this does the focus right here. And it comes with this mount and a suction cup, which you could basically put on any surface, any flat surface. And you can adjust the mount as well. And it's powered by a um, mini USB to USB cable. And I have everything plugged into my smart plug down here. This is my surge protector slash smart plug made by Tekken. It has four AC outlets and four USB outlets. And what's cool about this Tekken plug is that you can actually turn on and off each individual outlet. Hey Google, turn off outlet one. Hey Google, turn on outlet one. Very handy, very useful smart plug. Probably the best one I have in my house. Moving on over to here, this is my TV cart. And you can connect a 32 inch up to a 65 inch LED or LCD TV. And it comes with this mini shelf that you can adjust up and down. And mounted on my TV cart is an Insignia Fire TV. It's a LED. HD TV and it's a 32 inch got it for under $150 through Amazon warehouse deals Insignia also makes a 55 inch 4k LED model as well and it has three HDMI inputs it has a digital optical output for your audio surround sound uh, or if you want you can connect headphones to it there's also an antenna cable coax input and a standard video input it has built-in Wi-Fi, but you can also connect Ethernet cable to get internet on your TV. I use my TV as a test monitor when I'm testing out some of my game consoles. The remote is really awesome. It has shortcuts on the remote like Netflix, PlayStation View if you watch TV on that, uh, Prime Video, HBO. But what I really like is this microphone feature. Check it out. Change to HDMI 1. Okay. How cool is that? And if you want to get back to the home screen, just press home. And now Amazon Fire TV supports YouTube app. So this is also a really great setup if you want to bring your TV in and out of your house. Over here is my desk and I'm going to show you some of my favorite tech at my desk. Unravel is a compact size, fast wireless charging device, charges three devices at the same time. It was featured on Kickstarter. The newest version is about to release next month as over 4,000 backers and earned over $300,000.
and you just lay your device right there. Of course, your device has to support wireless charging. Now it also supports fast wireless charging, but you have to get this separate adapter. This is a 60 watt power adapter and that will give you the fast charge for this device. What you get in the box is basically a type C USB cable that plugs into here and now will give you a wireless charging capability, but it won't be fast charge. Now, if you don't want to charge your phone laying down like that, you can use it as a dock as well. And you flick this down and there's magnetic connections right here and you can use the unravel charging base like a dock but it doesn't work on my phone because the charging pad the charging coil I believe is in the middle right here and this is kind of low so when I set it up like that it doesn't charge my phone so what I have to do is turn it sideways just like that and then it charges my phone I know first world problems still a very handy device if you have two or more iPhones or Samsung phones that have that wireless charging capability. I actually had this wireless printer for over two years. Works great. The ink is very inexpensive and it, and it prints from my phone. So I go to my Google Pictures, select the picture, click on those three dots in the upper right hand corner and select print. You just select print. But of course you have to be on the same wireless network. I don't want to waste my ink so I'm going to cancel that. Besides it being a printer, it's also a scanner, a fax machine and a copy machine for under $50. This is the HP Envy 5055 model. This is my Google Hub. I love, if you have an all home office, I highly suggest the Google Hub. Besides it being a photo frame, it's a music player, and it's a basically a home automation hub and a video surveillance monitor. Hey Google, show me who's at the front door. I have the Nest doorbell, but the Nest Hub also works with the Amazon Ring doorbell. And I can turn the lights on and off, or even adjust the thermostat. Now I'm going to show you my computer. I'm really proud of my computer. I built this. Uh, I got inspired by Linus Tech Tips video, which he made the ultimate RGB PC. Uh, it has a built-in infinity mirror. If you've never seen that, I'm going to show you right now. And the button on the side, you can change the colors. Pretty cool. So this infinity mirror case, PC case, is a little bit pricey. It's around $150. But hey, my computers last me around 8 to 10 years. So I, I want to get something cool. LED fan right there in the back. It has two LED fans on top as well. And it has four USB ports on top right here. You know, the reset on and off as well. You can adjust the fan speed. And it has a headphone jack and a microphone jack. It does not have an SD card slot, which I had to get that separately. I also added this UFO CPU fan, which I think is really cool. And you could connect it to the control board and I have a GTX 1060 video card. This LED bracket, I thought it was cool. I bought that on eBay for like 30 bucks, I think. And I have a 500 watt power supply. Of course, RGB power supply. And it's plugged into my battery backup surge protector. For any reason my house loses power, the APC automatically kicks on and gives me 10 to 15 minutes allowing me plenty of time to safely save my data and shut down my PC. My wire management is a mess, but you can't see it because it's behind this black skirt. If you're tired of dealing with the cable management in your PC or desk area, just get a black table skirt. I also have it around my TV workbench and you just mount some command strips just like that and press and they stay on really well. And over here, is my 34 inch LG 
ultra wide LED monitor. It's 1440p. What I really like about this monitor is when I'm video editing through PowerDirector, I have extra room in my timeline so I don't have to scroll back and forth. On a standard monitor, it would end right about there. But on an ultra wide monitor, you have more workspace to work with. And my monitor is mounted to this gas spring mount made by Loctec. It has a built in USB port or you can plug in your microphone or your headphones and it hides the wires really well you can lower it as much as you want and raise it now while video editing using power director on my pc my favorite headphones to grab are the tautronic sound surge 46 headphones and the reason why is because the battery life is amazing up to 30 hours on a single charge and the active noise cancellation switch is my best friend because I have an AC unit that's kind of loud and my PC sometimes gets loud while video editing. So I just put my headphones on, flick that switch, and it eliminates that sound completely. And if the battery ever does die on my headphones, I could just simply plug in the 3.5 audio cable to my computer or to my phone if I'm listening to music. Ear pads are thick protein leather that go around your ear, not on your ear. So it gives you that passive noise cancellation. And with that switch, it gives you that active noise cancellation. Really great value headphones, and I compare them to the Bose active noise canceling headphones. This is my TV workbench. I showed you the skirt that hides all those storage bins. I'm currently working on a 65 inch LED insignia TV that was donated to me by one of my awesome viewers. His name is Mike. Shout out to Mike. Is what is that? What the heck is it? Oh my lord. This is a bunch of dog hair all over my favorite home theater chairs, which I just reviewed in my last video. And he sheds like crazy because it's summertime. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you this vacuum. <laughs> so this vacuum is a really powerful vacuum. It's comparable to the Dyson, which is $300. This thing is around $150. This is a rechargeable vacuum made by Dean Key. According to the specs, it has 17,000 PA power, suction power, and does not use any vacuum bags. So you just press this button and it dumps all the debris on the floor like I just did. I don't know why I did that. It has a multi-stage filter system. It has two modes. You just press the trigger twice. And it shows you the battery life right here, and it comes with the wall dock. I'm gonna plug this in right here. When I press the trigger, this will illuminate and the brushes will spin. Now, if you have an office chair, I highly suggest upgrading to these wheels. These casters are amazing. These are basically roll blade wheels and they're silent and they protect your floors. I don't even need this protective mat anymore. These wheels will never scratch my floor. They're super smooth and quiet. I like them so much that I actually bought them for my swivel chair. Sometimes I don't like sitting in my office chair. It's kind of uncomfortable and I want to move over, kick my legs up and just work from a more comfortable setting. And I could do that in this home theater chair. I reviewed these in my last video, but hey, it's worth the mention in this video since it's part of my home office. Now they have really big cup holders and you, when you press this LED button, everything illuminates. The cup holder illuminates, the control panel illuminates. This cup holder illuminates. Even the bottom of the chair illuminates. This is genuine leather, very durable, and it has a built-in USB port, 5 volt, 2 amp, supports fast charging. Now you also have the ability to put on a tray or a tablet holder or a wine glass caddy. 
just slide on my tray right here this is sold separately around 65 or 70 dollars i believe and it swivels left and right so it's easy to get in and out of the chair without taking the table off so so my feet are kicked up i'm still in an upright position i could be on my laptop and working but if i want to lean back and take a nap i could do that Now, if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more tech videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech. Click on the subscribe button below and hit that bell notification to stay updated on my latest videos. And if you know anyone that has a home office and that may find some of these gadgets useful, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Thanks, guys, for watching.